the 27th of March. I think my 80th day on a low histamine carnivore diet. In 10 more days, it'll be three whole months. I cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. Y'all, my mind is blown. I swear, I cannot stand here to record. Look, now he's come up here to try to hit me. See my other videos, you know, every time I lean against this door, a cat decides to crawl on my body. Um, but I'm in there cooking, and if I get any closer, it's really loud. You can hear the fan. I'm making me a pecan, y'all. I'll show y'all it. I have eaten already breakfast, so we'll show y'all that in a second. Um, if you do to me, to make a long story short, my highest weight ever was 434. When I started keto, it was 368. Got down to 155. Got long cold COVID from the Delta version, which also gave me mast cell activation syndrome with a high histamine issue and tolerance, um, which I already had in my life. Come to find out, it just reactivated and caused a flare up, um, but a really bad one. And I gained almost 100 pounds back. Mm, went to tons and tons of doctors for almost two years, endocrinologists, rheumatologists, because my ANAs were high, and they thought I had lupus, then I'm being told it's because of my age, or this or that, or it's my fibromyalgia, it's long haul COVID, it's no one discovered it, I discovered it myself, asked for the test for verification, and yes, I have mast cell activation syndrome, and that is why we are doing a low histamine carnivore diet to reverse it to shut those mast cells down so I can be a normal person and my body not fill with inflammation and not have allergic reactions for stuff I'm not even allergic to it sucks but we are working on it we are working on it even when we have little setbacks not setbacks to what I'm eating just setbacks because I have a flare-up and, and desperately ill from it okay so that being said let me go ahead and show you my breakfast let you watch me make it and then I am working on my dinner it is 2 p.m. I'm eating this early because I have to take my daughter um tonight she's going to a movie which means I have to leave the house by 6 p.m. Um, and I won't be back here until 10 30 it is too far away for me it's like 45 minutes for me to drop her off and come back home so I'm hitting every store in Sanford, which I go to every week over and over again because I drop her off at stuff and it's too far of a drive to come all the way back home. Anyways, here's what I made for breakfast. Alright, so I'm kind of just making this up as I go, trying to figure out what to eat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cook, render down some of this fat into crispiness so at least I get some use out of it if you didn't see it's from my bacanya um, because if I don't basically cook it until it falls apart it makes me sick so I'm not really gonna be buying bacanya for a while um, I think I just did too much for too long and now it's time to lower that so these might take a little while to do I'm not saying I'm going to eat them all right now because that's a lot of fat at once, but I wanted to go ahead and get them down. That one looks like it has some of the smoked salt, which we do not want because we are not touching smoked salt right now. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm cooking everyone for Easter. Like, I do the meat part. Um, I'm going to go Friday morning and see if they have fresh caught cod at Costco and see how much it's going for. Um, backup would be a pork butt. It's backup. I am going to also make like a beef or something. Maybe like a picanha on the grill or something. Okay, let me wash my hands. Alright, I won't start that until I'm finished recording because it is loud. So I have to get all the fans going. But I'm going to put this in my air fryer and I just cook it to 400 until it is crispy.
Alright, so I have a hard time watching um, a green with some of the people I watch on Carnivore or on Keto um, because I, the person I really watched the most, like in the beginning was Canino, uh, Keto Connect and Keto in Canada, um, but they didn't talk about how much fat all the time you had to eat or anything like that. Um, and then the first real keto doctor I watched, um, was Dr. Eric Westman. So I've always followed his theory of non-internet keto. So you didn't, you don't eat all the fat if you want to burn the fat on your body. Like his theory makes the most sense to me. Everyone else just does not. And it's really, really hard because I'm watching people that, um, are really into keto, but then they make the statement that... Um, anyone who tells you to do lower fat, they don't know what they're talking about. Um, but, like, Dr. Westman to me is, like, the godfather of keto, other than, like, Atkins. Like, he's been studying and doing it longer than almost everyone else. And he gets, like, really fast results for weight loss and healing your guts and stuff. Um... So it's kind of, it's weird. Like, what? who do you listen to? Who is your main person that you go back to every time when you hear something that is so opposite of the person you have followed the most? I get carnivore is different than keto. Uh, it is a ketogenic diet, but you are not having any carbs at all. Um, and I do get, I am severely under eating. So I might have to start doing some snacking since I can't have big meals. Um, because everything I've been watching is seriously telling me I'm under eating. Alright, so we are going to try leftover chicken and see what happens. We're just going to do one patty. And I will weigh it out. We will see how much it is. So I kind of stopped really focusing on weights and stuff. And... Um, when I've gone back through doing my weights of foods, I realize I'm under eating drastically. Okay, so this is three and a half ounces. I air pressure cooked it yesterday, so it's very, 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 very tender. Might end up needing more butter. We will see. Definitely can't have canned meat meat because that is a high histamine. Leftovers are high histamine too, but I can do leftover bacania with no problem. So I'm hoping I can do leftover chicken. Life will be better if I can start doing at least something that's only a day old or something. Because I really want to go to the zoo. I really have some things I want to do. But it is so far away, we're going to need more butter. It is so far away, I have to be able to bring food. And I won't be able to cook it that morning because we got a beef Definitely not enough butter. I thought a tablespoon would be enough, but no. Little salt. The only salt I eat. Real salt from Redmond's. I definitely under ate yesterday drastically bad, but I wasn't hungry. That is one of my problems. And I cut down on the coffees and butters and all of that to try to make myself be hungrier. And I thought, because, you know, a boneless, skinless chicken breast, I thought 
it would make me hungry because it, it did on keto when I would do boneless skinless chicken breast. Um, it would trigger hunger a few hours later and I was kind of hoping for that and I guess mixing it with the eggs and the broth, there was no hunger. And carnivore, I have been told a million times by people who's been doing it for a long time. The whole reason they stopped because they were under eating. The whole reason their weight loss journey took longer than it should is they were drastically under eating. So, I might have no choice but to start tracking again. I just scrub this and it's just my food anyways, but I literally just clean the stove. Okay, I'm trying to get a little crispy. Just for something different. I've been eating the same thing constantly, so. I really wanted to add cheese, but I am saying goodbye to cheese right now. At least um, Kobe Jack might go back to some fresh mozzarella. Just in case. Um... Eating it for so many days in a row is what caused my histamine issue. Like, I didn't have it. I was eating it every day almost, grabbing some. When I was hungry, I was trying to use it to help me up my calories and fat. Um, but it could have just built up and been too much. So, I need to go back to fresh mozzarella or ricotta. Um, I was going to try ricotta again. Now, we need some butter for our eggs. I don't want too much volume because I can't handle too much food at once. I really think all that time off keto and eating very small volumes. I mean, it was crackers, it was um, little breads or um, potato, but it was nothing in volume. I think it really messed up how much I can eat at once because it was months and months of tiny little volume at once. When I'm done recording, I will definitely put this in my macros and track today. I'm supposed to be dropping my daughter off at the movies tonight at 6.30, which kind of sucks because it is pouring rain today and my windshield wipers do not work. They... I need to replace them. I was going to have, when they were in the shop, I was going to have them replace it. And my dad thought $40 was way too much. So he went into like a Vans Auto or AutoZone, one of those places. He was like, it is $25 a friggin' blade. So he didn't buy them. Um, I was like, yeah, I was trying to tell you the world's changed. These are not the prices they used to be. Everything is um, pretty much outrageous now. Okay, $10, $10 windshield wiper blades do not exist any longer. A $50 to $75 battery for your car no longer exists. It's, uh, it's a couple hundred dollars. One of the cars is over $400 for it. So yeah, so it's 11-11. I'm going to give this a shot and see if it even tastes good. Um, but I am going to eat it no matter what. Okay, so this morning I made the... This is what it shrunk down to. 
All right, I did put a little salt on it. I haven't really eaten any of it. I'm kind of a little afraid to since we're going out and that is fat. But you saw that fat, it shrunk down to this. But I took um, filters and filtered it out and you can still see some little crumbs, but I'm going to eat it really fast anyways. It is beef tallow, and I want to start trying to fry my eggs with it. Um, so it's a simple way to render down the fat instead of boiling it in a pan for hours on end. Um, let me go ahead and show you my food. It is resting, though, because I just pulled it out, and we'll do the whole weighing thing once it's finished resting. And it's just picanha that I took the fat off yesterday because... I've been having a little bit of issues, so, but it looks yummy. Okay, the last meal of the day, but I will have a coffee later. I have seven and a half ounces of picanha. I thought it cooked way more than it did, so hopefully this doesn't affect me because sometimes it does. All right, so I was only able to eat four and a half ounces of the meat, and I began to feel insanely full. Um, so I stopped eating because the one thing about my stomach, if I go past that, if I overstuff it at all, even a t like one more bite, that's when my heartburn happens really bad. Um, so I stopped eating and weighed it out and put the rest away. Um, plus I wasn't really hungry. I had to make myself eat in the first place, but... I need to have eaten way before I take my daughter, and that would be the last chance I get to eat tonight, um, just because of the stomach issues I've been having. Now, I have not taken my magnesium since magnesia, magnesium, magnesium, since the 23rd, the night I got sick, because it can, it causes me nausea when I take it at night, and... I've been queasy as it is since then. So I will be taking it tonight because every single night I have woke up with the most excruciating leg cramps and today was no exception. I woke up with my left leg around 5.30. It calmed down, but at 9.30, um, my right leg, the whole entire calf, was in a horrible cramp. Like, not just one spot. The whole. It was awful. Awful! And it took me 15 minutes of walking it off to get it to stop. Now, I did have to take an ibuprofen today. Um, the low pressure storms we are having is causing migraines. And like I said, I have driving to do tonight. So, I cannot have a migraine because it causes issues with my vision. Um, especially with lights. It is really bad. Um, so, I had to get rid of that and it's calmed down a whole lot but that also messes with my stomach so much messes with my stomach y'all sometimes I wonder if it was from being on metformin 2500 milligrams for over 14 15 years every day sometimes like I always had stomach issues but sometimes I wonder if that's what made it so horrifying on some of the issues I have. I don't know. Probably didn't, but I'm sure it didn't help because there are tons of doctors who just do not believe in it um, because it causes so much stomach issues. I was going to tell y'all something. came in here to tell you something other than my food, and it's completely left my brain. Let's talk about my hair. The reason I want to talk about it is today I was taking a shower. My showers are so fast right now, and I am saving so much money on conditioner, you just don't know. My hair was down to my butt, like the top of my butt, and I used a lot of conditioner because it was extremely tangled. I had to use a detangle brush in the shower with the water helping to brush it every single time. So my showers were very long, not only and expensive because of the conditioner. Now it's just so fast and I barely use any conditioner and it's just so lightweight and soft. It's so much blonder than you can see. It's a yellow light in here. Let's go out to the white light. So, yeah. And I'm going to keep up with it this time so it doesn't cause me a whole kidney like it did. This last one was the most expensive I've ever paid for 
hair to be done ever and I used to pay to get my hair um colored like highlights and then turn red like and I had hair down past my butt at that time and that was only 250 but I guess times have changed so drastically um but she said if I keep up with it when it grows out about an inch so a little more I'm thinking like June um maybe in the May somewhere in there uh she said if I keep up with it it would only be a hundred each time so which means I would have to go more often. So in the end, it's still going to cost the same, but I'm going to like it every day instead of going like six, seven months and hating my hair and then paying a fortune. Um, and then, yeah. So we're just going to maintain it this time. I'm also never going to let my hair get that long again, probably, because the truth is I just I like it this length. Maybe a little longer, like to here, where I originally wanted it. Like this piece would be down to here. Um... But yeah, I'm liking it. Uh, it's so easy, so easy, and so light. And yes, I'm worried that my hair is going to start thinning out because I'm having an issue eating food. <sighs> Meat fills me up so fast, okay? It just fills me up insanely fast. And I tried to take a bite of the fat and had to spit it out. I just can't. I can't. Ever since getting sick like I did, I am repulsed by it. Like, I literally gagged. The thought of even eating a pork rind makes me gag, and that was my favorite thing in the world. I'm hoping later, once, you know, I'm way away from the sick, like, I don't know. All I know is the only fat I'm getting right now is going to be for my eggs and my butter. And I haven't been putting butter in my coffee really or adding extra butter this week to see if that would make me get hungrier. Because a lot of people's like, well, just don't put the butter in your coffee. Leave your coffee black. Um, don't add butter to your food to see if that will increase your hunger. It's actually lowered my hunger. Like, I... I'm having seriously issues eating. And I've watched a lot of carnivores say, if you're really having seriously issues eating the proper amount of food, maybe it's not right for you. But when I do my coffees with my butter in it, I hit a good enough calories and a good enough fat and a good enough protein. It's the bare minimum, but I hit a good, I hit what I hit on um, keto, right? Around 12 to 1400 calories, around 100 in something protein. And then, well, on keto, I never went this high, but over 100 in something fat because I'm doing the, the butters um, and eggs. So right now, I'm just going to continue down this carnivore journey and just do me what's best for my body and my illnesses um, because I do know I do need to eat more, but right now my stomach isn't going to let me. I really seriously think over the last two years where my meals got smaller and smaller and smaller because of my digestion issues, um, and then when I went off keto, it got extremely small. Y'all, when I mean... I would eat a small plain baked potato once or twice a day and nothing else. Or I would eat a sleeve of crackers a day and nothing else. I am not lying. That is all for months I was eating. Or maybe one donut for the whole entire day. So we're talking about 60 grams of carbs, but we're talking about not maybe 300 calories, I don't know what's in a donut, for the whole day. But in volume-wise, that is nothing. Or, um, I wasn't eating grapes because my throat was well shut. Like, my throat swells shut on a lot of foods. It doesn't on wheat, thank God. Um, and that's just because of the muscle activation high histamine issue I'm having. Um, but I am not joking. I'm not joking. I think I seriously strength my stomach because when I eat five eggs, I'm on the ground. Like, 
it feels too heavy. When I do a whole seven ounces of the meat, mm, no, feels too heavy, makes me sick. I'm going to try getting them to um, start cutting my picanha again um, because I did really good on it. That's super thin and cooked a lot. Um, so I'm going to go back to doing that again. I just felt better doing that. I had better results and I felt amazing. Um, but I started listening to people and no more. I'm done listening. I was trying to take people's suggestions because I was new to the carnivore world, not the keto world, but the carnivore world. Um, but the truth is I felt way, way better with super thin, super cooked, almost like jerky meat versus now do I prefer the taste of raw meat yes I do that's how I've eaten it my whole life um does it make me feel too full though too fast eating it that way and do I not feel my best afterwards and get very sluggish yes that is exactly what happens it's just not not a good thing for me so we're going back to the way I did it the first month so yeah I have a picanha still that is I might just cook it this weekend for everyone and get me see if they got some that they can cut up for me but I'm gonna go back to watching Dr. Barry's live that I always miss every Monday and get dressed soon to take my daughter <laughs>